No. So here's my horizontal boring mill. So that's a manual machine. This is where we still need highly skilled people. You got these, you got two planer mills. They're, 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 they're good journeymen because you got to set them up. It's yep. one off setups, very few fixtures. Um, same with these machines over here are Toshiba's. So what these would, are CNC's horizontals, big ones. Yeah, big ones. Yeah. What would you say is the biggest uh, barrier to proficiency for the typical machinist, you know, coming in out of general training and trying to start building? It's experience? just the size of the equipment. They get used to it. Some people don't like working on big equipment. I always, I worked in job. I'm a machinist by trade. So I always worked in job shops and always tried to run the biggest equipment because that's where you make your most money. But if you make a mistake, that's where everybody knows it. Yep. <laughs> so, hard to hide yeah, it when you're hard to, so, like that. So, but then I had other guys, all they want to do is make little parts. So that's where it gets hard to get an all around. But if you find some of these younger guys that have no fear, you want them to have a little fear. You want to have the respect of the machine because it can screw you up pretty good. But if they can jump and go and don't have the fear, then they're, we're, we, we'll train them up. Hi, are you a skilled trades technician looking for better employment? then let's get that job search monkey off your back. Go to flextrades.com and check out our available positions today.